We're finally here. One month worth of videos. <sighs> you guys got four different horror channels back to back. Hopefully I do want to do more for this channel. I do want to upload more. I do want to do a whole bunch of things, but lack of support means lack of revenue, meaning I have to do other stuff to pay my bills. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. You guys are not liking the video. You guys are not sharing the video. You guys are not commenting on the video. Meaning YouTube sees my videos and these reactions that you guys claim you do love as garbage with no interaction with you guys. YouTube sees it as a failed video. So they shove my channel. If you guys truly enjoy these videos, you have to like. That is how YouTube knows to continue recommending this video or this channel to others to potentially join in on the things you guys enjoy when it comes to these horror reactions. If you guys are not doing that little extra mile, I can't go the extra mile and upload more content. I got to do the extra mile and find other resources that can keep me fat and jolly. That's just this hard truth. I've been trying my best to do a lot of things, but you guys need to support me more. So if you truly enjoy these spooky reactions and these horror stuff, and you want more of them, and you want me to upload more a week, I just need a very bare minimum, which is just a like and a comment. The algorithm will see that as a positive interaction between the creator and you guys as my community. If I could average 25 likes per video to over 250 views, I could upload more. But if I'm just going to be in the hundreds to 200s, I got to focus on things that could provide for me. This is just us being adults with each other. That's just a simple fact. I got to focus on projects that to keep these boobs boobying and my stomach stomaching. Anyways, Nuke Daddy uploaded, and this is 10 scary videos I dare you to watch alone. Too bad, Nuke. I got a lot of voices in my head. I'm never alone. With that being said, let's get this ball rolling. Like the fucking video. A man from Medellin, Colombia is horrified when his cat starts behaving very strangely and appears to see something that he can't see. Get rid of the cat. She's paralyzed. Then use paralyzed heal. Or full restore. Or full heal. Maricas, que eu congelei lá, güey, um bea. Que putas, bea. Nieves. Marica. Nieves, que miras. What's a shadow that corner? Nieves. Dios mío, parece un. It's not Pecha. What's one of the berries for paralyzed? Nieves. Nieves, oye, que estás viendo? Nieves, nena. Que ves, Nieves? There's a shadow right there. The cat is completely frozen and refuses to move, intently staring at something in the opposite room. The man nudges the cat, pets the cat, and even shakes her. But nothing will divert its intense stare. Mm -hmm. The cat, who is usually very affectionate, then becomes aggressive and just scratches him. The video has been shared and reposted to the internet countless times, and of course, without a source. Many concerned viewers believe the cat saw a spirit or an entity, and some say that they too see a shadow-like figure staring yeah. back at her. But did you see it? Yeah. Let me know down in the comments. Bro, if you did not see the fucking shadow that's literally right there, um, you're Helen Keller, Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles. Who else is blind? That one TikTok white dude that can rap real fast that's blind. Probably like, whoa, like a black rob, motherfucking hold it up, be getting on that job, and she wanna swallow my knob, like, put on the cob, and you know that you're gonna get robbed, I'm back on my shit. You're them. Hell no. Did you see it? Did you see it? Nuke. Nuke. Hi, Joe. 
Red user Kimberly can't Pokemon fall asleep move. one night I and decides kick. to get up for a late night snack at 1.30 a.m. Except for her boyfriend and her female roommate Jackie, who are fast asleep in bed, no one else is in the house. It's 1.58 so a.m. for me. Next, understandably, scares the living shit out of her. Oh, he said the word. I'll say it for you. Shit. Oh. That. That be me for real. Just eating a snack at night. Jackie. Chad. Hi. Are Bro, Cheerios at night hit. We know what's Do you know what hit harder? Frosted Flakes at 2 a.m. Kimberly jumps when a loud female voice can be heard saying "Hi" from the doorway right behind her. Confused by the sound, Kimberly gets up, half expecting her roommate Jackie to be standing there in the doorway. But there's no one there. Even stranger, Kimberly has two small dogs who will usually come Aww. running when they hear the rustling of food containers. But the little dogs stay far away and even seem a bit skittish. Kimberly says that her female roommate Jackie was fast asleep at the time and that they have no Siri or Alexa app or other device that could have made the sound. Hmm. Now, I have to say that Kimberly's frightened response is one of the most authentic reactions I've ever seen. She looks freaked out. Oh, oh, if there's no audio devices in that house, it's hard to explain that. It does seem genuine. The dogs seem afraid. More of the story is what hits harder than Frosted Flakes at 2 o'clock in the morning, coming home drunk at 3 a.m. and eating a bowl of cookie crisp. Tell me if I'm wrong or or coming back home after having a certain session if you kind of catch my drift. So imagine coming home after 420 activities at 2 a.m. or at 3 a.m. and you enjoy a bowl of Reese's Puff that hits as hard as Chris Brown. Toy Story. We were messing around with my little sister's Toy camera, Story and we just found something. Like, oh, uh, it's weird. It's weird. It's Okay. Uh, it's a normal weird. Tuesday in October, around 6 p.m., when a young girl takes out her camera to record her new toy collection and talk about her day. What happens next is downright chilling. This is gonna be cut up, I think, a little bit. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my Skibbity toilet collection that I just got today. Um, we went to a toy store and they had all of these things like this cameraman, these tiny little action figures, this big skinny toilet, and this one. And then they give her a TikTok channel. I saw my friend the other day and we went on a walk and we also got ice cream that day. And I'm having a lot of fun. Give it a toilet. Sticking out your gat for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. Slender man. The little girl looks up and seems frozen in fear as she stares at something that we can't see. She stares motionless for over 20 seconds and then gets up and hurries out of the room. Okay, the I appreciate the cut. continues to record and captures something that seems to follow her. Later, the little girl's older sister, Charity Lewis, is looking through the camera's footage and finds this strange recording completely by accident. Charity shares the clip on Instagram and says that before viewing this video, she had no idea that her little sister had experienced anything strange. 
To this day, the recording remains a mystery. We need the thing that makes it harder to fake. I kind of wish that section where it shows the little black figure shadow moving about how they were recording with a device, obviously their phone and just showing the footage on the toy camera. If they would have showed me the footage of that on the from the toy camera of the figure going past on the toy camera, I would see as so and there's just showing the camera right here. That would give me a little bit less ways or opportunities to try to debunk it. Scary videos. So if you see a video online that you think is creepy, send it to nukestop5 at gmail.com. On the road, two men are driving home late at night in Pahang, Malaysia, when something happens that nearly runs them right off the road. It's always the Asian countries that always have the best footage. <laughs> <laughs> the driver An manages English? to dodge the creepy stranger, but the two guys have no idea who would be out walking in the middle of the road at 1.41 in the morning. When but they review the footage, they are shocked to see that the figure appears to be pale and translucent and seems to disappear as they drive past. The two men start to wonder if they might have had an encounter with a sinister paranormal entity, maybe a spirit trying to make them crash. But is it a ghost? or just some strange person in the road at 2 a.m. Uh, it disappears too quickly. That up to you. Ghost strangers in the woods. Stealth Camper Sam from the YouTube channel The Northwest Wind frequently sets up camp in public and somewhat odd places like Walmart, a public bathroom, a cemetery, and even behind his neighbor's shed. On one of Sam's stealth camping trips, he decides to set up camp for the night in a wooded park just outside of Cleveland, Ohio. Interesting After setting concept. Up his tent for the night in the cold January temperatures, Sam starts to get a bit worried about his decision to stay there. I don't know why I'm just spooked. I haven't been saying that, but I've been spooked since I got here. I keep feeling like somebody's watching me. And then seeing that person, I know it's a public park, but still. Then, as night falls, Sam's concerns turn into a real life nightmare. There's somebody, hang on. I don't know if they can see it or not through the tent. I don't think so. I'm leaning right up against the light, but somebody's walking around out there very close to the tent. All right, I'm making my ears. They're getting closer, hang on. Hang on. This is, this is when you shut the fuck up. They're really close now, they're like... Listen. Hello? Hello? While sitting in the dark, Sam hears two people walking around outside his tent, and they're getting closer and closer. Hello? Hello? All right, I don't like this. Hello? Hello? They're touching my tank. Hello? All right, I'm getting the f out of here. Hello? Hello? I don't know what the f this is, but we're getting out of here. Hang on. Hello? Okay, they're walking away now what do you want what do you want i have a knife where's my knife say something i see you they collapsed my tent on me i don't know which way they went i think they went this way i see you get away All right, I'm spooked. I don't like this. Get my headlamp on or work. Getting out of here right now. They're just standing there. They're just standing there. What do you want? Leave me alone! They went over that way. I can't see them now. I know you're there. I see you. 
They collapsed my tent on me and pulled the fly off while I was still in there. It smells like someone's smoking a cigarette too. I smell your cigarette! I think I, all right, we're just gonna get out of here. We're just gonna get out of here. I'll come back for this crap later. Do I have my phone? I'm gonna call. Stay away from me! They're coming behind me. I don't know what they're doing. They could just be around. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. They're at my campsite. I see them. I see you reflecting off my tent. Leave my alone! All right, I'm getting out of here. That is why you One always, always. Okay, here's the trail. Always, you know, just. I just ate. I just ate. I'm soaked. I'm toast. Okay. Oh, they're coming. Leave me alone. Okay. I'm about five minutes from the car now, but I'm in the big clearing off the path. I have the high ground, so to speak. I can see everything from behind me. I don't see anybody anymore. Can't hear anybody. If they were coming, I could see them for a ways now. Right at the edge of the wood line. It's about 150 yards away. Hang on. You see that? I see you! I can see you! Hmm. Oh, it's, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. All right, let's get the f here. I don't know if they're like after me or something or what the f is happening. We're getting the f that it's drone getting bigger, is gonna be picking him, man. Like I'm calling the police. Okay. All right, we're getting out of here. All right. Lock my doors. There you go. Smart. The See? Awareness. Situational awareness. Sam gets to communicate and even yells at the creepy strangers in the woods. But whoever it is doesn't say anything. Understandably, Sam is freaked out by the whole situation. Eventually, he just makes a run for it, leaving his camping gear behind. Luckily, Sam makes it back to his car safely. The next day, Sam returns to find his tent and belongings still there in the park. Nothing has been stolen or vandalized, making the whole ordeal even more suspicious and truly disturbing. You can watch this entire creepy video over on the YouTube channel, The Northwest Wind. And just like with Nuke, Simply say in these type of videos, this just shows that humans are way more scarier than ghosts. Siren. Siren Man is on vacation in St. Petersburg, Florida, when she decides to do some late night fishing with a friend and record it for social media. Siren but as things in things start to get a little spooky. I was out here fishing and oh. sirens came from this island. Okay. I swear to God, I have it on video. I'm going to play it shortly. Did you catch like this? Okay. For real, my castle is gone. You also have the mythical beast or monster <laughs> siren. <gasps> Guys, you hear this? <laughs> Okay, well, you can explain that. That's all fucking hard. I don't know what else I feel about. Stop, there's no monkeys here. Hey, what are anyone's out here witnessing this in the entire world right now? Megan and her friend both hear bizarre screeching coming from somewhere out in the ocean. Megan thinks that she might have caught evidence of the existence of sirens mythical creatures that lure their victims into the water to drown them. But her friend seems to think it's a monkey. Okay, well, you can explain that. That's all fucking hard. I don't know what else I feel about. Stop, there's no monkeys here. Now, I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's not a monkey in the ocean. But what do you think it is? Let me know 
down in the comments. I'm not going to explain it or say it or what my thoughts are. I'm just going to women. Women. Last guy, situational awareness, adrenaline, understand what could have been what and so on. Women. So twinkle twinkles on the sides. A birthday surprise. In Boom. this next clip, a family is celebrating their grandmother's birthday, oh. recording a video as she's about to blow out the candle on her cake. But then, yeah, I mean, this happens. Grandma getting older, she can't get blown out herself. Happy birthday to you. A bizarre shadow like figure seems to run behind the elderly woman at an inhumanly fast speed. Unfortunately, the video was reposted to the internet without a source, but many concerned viewers believe the family captured a paranormal presence, perhaps even a deceased family member watching over them as they celebrate. But Could be. what do you think this is? Let me know. I was told out of context that I, I brain work not often, but brain slightly members that either sister past young or daughter she had passed at baby if y'all understand context in that way i like you if you don't understand what the fuck i'm saying uh y'all failed elementary school because if i could just say single words as sentences and you understand no then stupid you simple if words don't work then works word for you okay i don't even fucking understand what the hell i just said but you get my point what i'm trying to say is that the context i remember from a previous different channel was she either had a sister that passed very young or maybe I think maybe she had a daughter that passed very young and that was the spirit of either her sister or daughter that passed at a very young age. Animal instinct. Whitney works with horses at a large stable in Minnesota. She says that she's been experiencing odd and unexplained events at the stables for a long time and believes that the property might be haunted by some kind of presence. One day, Whitney is outside taking the horses back to the barn when she notices that the animals are behaving very strangely. Okay. Seemingly spooked by something in the field. Come up. No. Why are they? What the? F are they blindfolded? They have COVID okay, masks on. Then. What the hell's going on? Let's go. What type of liberal America is Fancy. this? What the f are you guys staring at? I'm stuck here by myself. Well, okay then. Man, the 1700s she holding. Is that a? I got ass. My ancestor dealt with that. While following the horses, Whitney hears a bizarre sound coming from somewhere nearby. Yeah, it's like someone like singing. Someone moaning. Oh. And then the horses get spooked again. What the f First, Whitney is confused because the horses seem terrified and make a run for it. But then she hears loud unexplained banging coming from an empty grain silo nearby. Mm. Whitney is freaked out and she just nopes her way right out of there. I guess you could say the horses are unstable.
bro what why is my tiktok followers at zero why is my youtube channel at zero what the fuck is happening why why is everybody else subscribing what what i deserve that i deserve this what motherfuckers my brain is computing that maybe this seems a little bit speculating this is speculation and is an assumption if i'm wrong i'm assuming this do you know what assuming does to you when you assume something when you assume something you're making an ass not of you but of me a s s u m e if i assume this is the information and it's wrong then i make an ass not of you but of me but if i assume and i'm correct then i make an ass out of you and not me see how it could reverse my assumption is that if this is from the south i'm going to go back to the beginning of the clip this is at 1848 of the timestamp of the video if this is the south most likely this may have been a place where slaves were part of the functionality of the farm that humming kind of sounded like like the singing a lot of the slaves did as they worked because if you look up the history for both american slaves and the ones that were in the caribbeans as in puerto rico cuba and dominican republic music was their way of coping of their forced life of living and working but i'm just gonna go back to see what state this belongs in whitney works with horses at a large stable in minnesota where the fuck is minnesota i'm american i have american knowledge minnesota's north center north apparently minnesota was a free state but but has slavery legal for only 14 months so w minnesota when they made statehood they abolished it but then also had a brief hiatus of slavery from 1845 to 1850 but before statehood because of the 13th amendment they had it legalized for 14 months maybe in this area 14 months one person just went out of control just making speculation the night visitor diane from mature county california has a youtube channel about growing and preserving food called diane the canning nana now she has never posted anything on her channel that is remotely related to the paranormal but one morning around 2 a.m diane gets a motion alert on her security camera i mean she marks the footage she finds something truly creepy. July 2nd, 2020. While everyone is oh. fast asleep just after 2 a.m., the apparition of what Diane believes to be an older woman with long hair can be seen walking through her living room. Even Diane's cat can be seen in the background, fearfully looking towards the strange figure. Now, Diane says that she has felt a presence in her home for months, but this is the only time that she was able to capture it on camera. But it gets even creepier. I thought it was outside. when the footage is brightened, we see that whoever or whatever this is just seems to disappear into thin air. Again, Diane has never posted anything paranormal other than this one video. Hmm. Hidden. Popular Japanese ghost hunters told oh, okay. hero from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film set out to investigate an old house in Agui, Japan. Agui. It is said that the house is haunted by the spirit of a young child. Isn't that like Italian? Two investigators are exploring the house when they find a hidden corridor. Or Portuguese for like here. This is Spanish, it's aqui. Okay. <laughs> Maybe rotten wood is what the smell you're getting? Brother. I'll give you. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Okay. Like an like no office? Oh, yeah, like an uh, office? <laughs> hospital office or hospital. Like an emergency room. Hey. Oh, <gasps> bitch. Nah, y'all yeah, motherfuckers saw that, right? <laughs> Fucking Juwan <laughs> went. The hidden corridor leads to what appears to be a room where a sick child was kept. But did you see it? Yes! As Tomo and Hiro enter the creepy hidden room, someone can be seen peeking out from behind a curtain and then quickly ducking back out of sight. The two investigators have no idea what they just captured and just continue on with their investigation. That's what we need Shao Long. Hiro decides to stay inside the house alone to see if the ghost that is said to haunt the property will make an appearance. After hmm. setting up his phone as a static camera in the other room, he sits alone in the house for 30 minutes. We need Ogamatoki. Despite a few strange noises, nothing really happens. Shao Long. But then Hiro goes to check his static camera. Who's the other dude? Oh well, yeah, we need them to collab. Even though Shao Wang is Chinese. And knocked over? Mysteriously, Hero's phone has been knocked over and is no longer recording. When they review the phone's footage later, the Omagatoki team is shocked by what the phone camera captured. Nope. There's an ominous sound and a bizarre face. A face? face appears right at the moment that the camera is knocked over. After reviewing their footage, Tomo and Hiro now believe that the old house is indeed haunted by some unknown Ooh. entity. Fuck. You can watch this entire creepy investigation over on the YouTube channel, Omega Toki Film. Ooh. That's the last of these videos. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Four fucking horror videos in one night, guys. It's 2.30 a.m. for me. I started this shit at 10 o'clock. Took a little break because obviously recording back to back to back to back to back. You know, that's not really healthy, honestly. So I give myself a little grace period to enjoy, obviously, coffee and just mentality recovery. Uh, I do want to post more. Give me reasons to post more reactions. Be active. Like the videos. And yeah, I want to be the best reactor that no one ever was to react to ghost videos is my real test to not get scared is my cause why do you guys watch this i understand why the views are so low i get it now anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's video i haven't enjoyed this night at all but with that being said until next time i love your faces and i'm out Peace.